Hey guys, James Sorgat here, and I wanted to uh, address some things with uh, Vince Del Monte. Uh, now, I've only talked to Vince, uh, I believe, on the phone once or twice, and you know, exchanged a few emails. So, uh, I really like the guy, and I really respect what he's done in terms of building a career out of the fitness industry. And um, you know, he's he's done an incredible job. So, I have a lot of respect for the guy. Um, he's not a personal friend, um, but I felt that I needed to come to his defense because of some of the things that I was hearing from uh, vegan stains and other people. Uh, first of all, this thing about uh, gaining 40 pounds uh, steroid free. Okay, Now, the arguments are, well, this is impossible and, um, you know, uh, there was the argument about, well, uh, Rich Piana added that kind of muscle, but he was on all these drugs and stuff like that. Well, let me tell you, first of all, my personal experience. And I, you know, you can believe me or not, but this is, you know, ask anybody who went to high school with me or anything like that. Uh, you know, I, I didn't use any performance drugs. I was 16 years old. I hadn't even smoked weed, nothing, okay? And I was super, super skinny. Uh, I was the same height I am now, which is like approximately 5'9", and I weighed 119 pounds. I was just a rail, and I was a hard gainer, and like many teenagers, no matter what I ate, I couldn't gain weight, and I was very insecure about it. So, you know, I just decided to do something about it, and actually it was a huge pivotal moment in my life because it's a moment where I went from feeling like a victim to I realized I had empowerment. And so I, I did a lot of research and I started to lift weights. I remember the first time I went to the gym, I was so skinny that the trainer there, he said to me, you know, just so you know, there's no way that you're going to be able to add very much muscle because of, you know, obviously your genetics or whatever it was. Well, that wasn't true because the thing is that I was a teenager and your metabolism is through the roof. Um, your hormones are through the roof. Uh, you don't need steroids at that age. Your testosterone, growth hormone, all that stuff naturally is high. Um, the number one thing actually that you're missing is enough food. So I started to eat a lot of food, eat a lot of protein. I didn't know about this stuff before that. And I was lifting weights. And within a year, I went from 119 pounds to I went to 165 pounds. So I had a similar transformation as what Vince is talking about. And um, now I'm sure some of that was fat, but most of it was muscle. And again, um, I didn't need to be on drugs. My hormones were through the roof. My body was just craving food. It just wanted to grow. And so, you know, it's completely believable that you would have that transformation. Now, I think where people um, kind of get lost is that uh, you know, there's a lot of studies to back this up, but your first year of training, you have the most dramatic gains. Uh, I believe the statistics are something like 50% of your gains are in that first uh, year if you're training and eating properly. So uh, it's not true that just as a natural competitor or sorry, natural um, weightlifter or whatever you want to call it, that you can only gain five pounds of muscle a year because it's front loaded. You know, when you first start eating and you first start training, even if you're not doing the best exercise routine, your body is going to suddenly respond to this new stimulus and, and, and grow. So uh, for me, uh, I absolutely gained, you know, that kind of transformation um, during that time. You know, obviously that's not going to continue. I didn't, you know, I, I'm not much more than that now. You know, I... Um, when I'm in season, you know, I'm mid 170s, things like that, you know, when I hit the stage and that's just what my, my biological structure is. Um, of course I'm leaner than I am. I was in high school at, at that weight. I have better shape. I have muscle maturity, all these different things, but this is what my genetics were. But you know, the majority of my gains were in that first year. Um, so I absolutely think that it's completely possible that Vince uh, did make that kind of transformation. I think he gives really good advice. I haven't seen everything he's done. I'm sure not all of it's perfect, 
but if you're a hard gainer and you're looking to add weight, you absolutely can gain a lot of muscle. You can absolutely learn from somebody like Vince. And to say that he needed steroids to make you know, those kind of improvements uh, when he first started training and at a younger age, um, I believe the guy and I can just see that from my own transformation and from other people. That's all I have to say on this. 